Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Nick here. We are going to be doing the iPhone 12 teardown. We're going to be taking the screen off of the device, taking a look inside motherboard battery, uh, just taking a look at it, and we'll see what kind of the differences are between this one and the current phone. So first, got to make sure it's turned off. We have it shut off. Um, we will then, uh, there's two screws at the bottom, but first we got to warm it up. So we're going to leave it on the heat plate here. Maybe, uh, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, let it get nice and warm for us. And this uh, temperature reading right here is actually in Celsius. So we're looking at about 170 degrees Fahrenheit is what we're doing. Um, I'll turn it up a little bit, I guess in like the 200s Fahrenheit. Let's see how this thing is. Warm. So we're going to start with our pentalobe screws on the bottom. We're going to take these two out right here. Now we are going into this blind. Obviously there's no tear down, no guide yet, being it's the first day. Um, but we are you know, the experts at this, so we have a pretty good grasp of what's going on. and Knowing what the iPhone 11 looks like. And, we're uh, hoping it's about the same, but we will find out here in a second. Get a little bit more warm. And heat up a little bit. So the back glass here, uh, if we had to repair this, we'd be end up using our laser machine which would actually laser the back glass off. You cannot remove the back glass with heat like you can the front screen. Um, so you would need to come into us either way, but for this, you would need the proprietary laser machine, which we do have at most of our locations. So definitely stop in if any of your back glass is broken on your iPhone 11, iPhone 10s, anything like that. We can always help out with rear glass replacement. Um, rear glass usually takes about an hour or two and you know, we can get you all taken care of. Cost is extremely low in comparison to going to Apple. Um, Apple's gonna charge you to swap the entire frame of the device out, uh, whereas we're able to just replace the glass. So we're looking at 100 to $150 for most of these repairs, whereas you're gonna be spending uh, $600 at Apple, or even some of the competitors are still doing the frames for three to $400. So uh, one of the only places that offer this service and definitely stop in if you have a uh, back glass that's cracked and we can help you out with that, so. All right, I think we're, I think we are starting to get warmed up here. I think so. so try. Right, she is really in there. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit just one second. I'm gonna go grab another tool real quick. See what I can find. Definitely use a little bit more heat always. Just kind of just loosen that adhesive. So there is a water barrier uh, adhesive. That's essentially what makes the phones waterproof. A little gummy barrier. Um, so we're just trying to break that. Got to heat it up, get it kind of uh, gummy so that we can pull that screen off and get into the phone.
start to hear it open up. We'll be getting inside this thing here very shortly. As you can see, we're starting to open it. I just gotta break the seal all the way down. more heat. Let it kind of warm me up. We don't want to be trying this at home with your new phone, so obviously a lot of risk. These displays are pretty pricey, and so if you end up kind of breaking one in the process, it's gonna be a few hundred dollars at cost. So we want to make sure that we're super careful with it. All right. So what I'm kind of seeing here is with a square frame, the phone's actually kind of sitting together much nicer. Um, with the rounded frames, it's, uh, they almost kind of sit on top of the bezel, where this sits in the bezel, which is uh, kind of back to the iPhone 5S days is when that was the case. So we're just going to try to get this opened up. Alrighty, well, we already see one difference. Cables are on the left. And we got that. Alrighty, so we are in. Looks like there is no damage. We are in. So what we're going to do here now Start taking this bad boy apart. Start getting at these screws. This is a proprietary Apple screw that they use. It's called a tri-wing screw. Um, so we'll get those. It's very important that we keep all the screws organized, make sure everything goes back the same exact place that it came. Um, be actually right back. You gotta go grab another tool real quick. Alrighty. So we got our black stick. Uh, it's very important that with electrical connections, obviously the phone is off, but you never know if there's any power still left in the board. So we use these black, they're called black sticks. Um, little black plastic tool, super sturdy. They're able to loosen connections with, so we'll, we'll definitely do that. We wanna start with the battery, which is gonna be right here, this little battery connector. So we're gonna pop that off. We are gonna also then press the power button a few times just to kind of drain any power if there was any power in the device. Now we'll start taking off flex cables for the screen. Alrighty, that's the first one. All right. Okay, then we got these over here. So these are the screen connections we got. Now we're gonna go up top and this is gonna be your face ID, ear speaker connections. Um, everything underneath this plate will be uh, accessible once we get this off. All right. Looks like we got kind of a funky ear speaker cable, it's all looped over. 
we're gonna get that and that's gonna free the screen completely so that is your iPhone 11 screen super thin actually much thinner um, than the uh, current screens you know you got a good amount of thickness on the newer screens that for the iPhone 11s iPhone 10s this is a super super thin display but pretty cool um, so we'll set that aside real quick and we'll start just kind of going through the phone showing some of the parts that we have here so obviously this is going to be your battery right so it's your battery a uh, pretty good sized battery i think it has a 3100 milliamp hmm. yes i believe so um and so it's going to be your battery for your device your motherboard sits right here um, this is where everything's going to connect to it so your sim card uh, all your vibrate motors, your face ID, everything uh, connects to the motherboard, which then makes it completely functional. Your face ID modules. So you got your uh, three-part face ID. This is your uh, different sensors that you have here. And so those all are wired and interconnected to the actual motherboard uh, right here. Underneath here, you have your rear camera, which I won't be taking these plates off, but underneath here, you'd see the connections that run. And it's gonna plug in actually right here. It's gonna be that camera connection. So, Taptic Engine, this is gonna be the vibrate motor, which is when your phone's vibrating. This is what makes it all happen. You got your charging ports, right? Your charging port replacement right here. If you need to do a, a port, we can definitely take care of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty much anything on these devices, quick mobile repair can fix. Um, from the batteries, to charging ports, rear cameras, face ID, uh, ear speakers. Uh, we'll kind of break down the screen as well. So right here we got LCD cable, LCD cable. This is what actually makes the phone be able to touch function and then display images as well. And then up here we got our ear speaker. So when you're talking into the phone, um, you're able to hear, that's gonna be all right here. So um, what we'll do now is we'll put everything back together and uh, make sure it works, right? It's the most important part. And so let's kind of get to that step. And uh, and that will be the uh, teardown complete on the uh, iPhone 11 or the iPhone 12 now, excuse me. All right. I'm just using, these are just uh, simple push connections. So be able to push it on there. Let me flip this around. Perfect. All right. We are now gonna put these plates back on. It's very important, you know, a lot of other shops we find that they'll come back in and you know, plates and parts are missing and screws are missing not so much parts but plates and screws and so you know here at quick mobile repair we really uh pride ourselves that everything that goes out of your phone goes right back in your phone uh, so let's get all these screws back in We got the first plate back on, guys. Let's see here. So that is in. All right, let's get this plate back on. And then let's get the phone booted back up. All right, that's the first one right there. Second screw right there. I'm gonna fold this back over, sit it back nicely in the frame. Hear that pop all the way around. Perfect. Let's get the uh, bottom screws back in the phone. We'll power it on, we'll test it out, and we'll see if uh, yeah, the repair went well. So we got a boot on. We will test touch here in a second, and that will uh, kind of complete our teardown. But I really appreciate you guys, you know, viewing us today, and we'll be sharing this around. Um, so if you see this after the fact, just uh, check it out. All righty. So we are functional. Touch is working. Phone is working. Um, so that's live with the uh, 
the unboxing, we are going to be doing a giveaway for the iPhone 12 at our Mesa store opening. November 13th and 14th is grand opening event down at Mesa Riverview. Uh, we're super excited to be open. We'll obviously be doing repairs on site, accessories, uh, gaming consoles, back glass repairs, pretty much everything that we offer will be obviously there. Grand opening day. And we'll be giving away an array of different products, iPhone 12s, uh, iPads, a bunch of different things. So definitely stop in uh, to the Mesa Riverview location. We'll have some information on one of these posts for you to check that out. Uh, hope to see you guys then and uh, have a great day.